All right, what's going on you guys? Welcome again to Dr. J ENG. How are y'all today? Okay, so today we will be talking about Kylian Mbappe because I have uh, an insider in my channel. As you know, in Spain right now, there is like kind of two different ways to learn information from Real Madrid. Number one is the traditional media, journalists and all that. And the number two is the insiders that apparently have information regarding to Kylian Mbappe. And some of y'all asked me last night, okay, but are these insiders legit? Are these insiders reliable? Can we trust to these people? Well, let me, let me be honest with you. Last summer, what happened was the traditional media and some journalists, right, they were claiming all over the world Kylian Mbappe was going to play for Real Madrid when he finally didn't, right? So for so many people out there, that was a major bruise in their brands, in their, I mean, you know, trust and all that. So a lot of people uh, jumped onto the, uh, let me say, the ship of these insiders because apparently these guys, although they're not professional journalists, they have uh, some information regarding to Real Madrid. And there's one specifically who apparently have people inside Real Madrid. And that is something that can happen in life, right? You're not a professional journalist, but you know people that work for Real Madrid in so many different ways, right? Well, this guy, I'm gonna introduce this guy for some of y'all guys so you know his face, who he is and all that, and why I decided to uh, bring him over, right, uh, the channel. So, this guy, I mean, the guy that is talking here with me last night in my show, uh, is called Coyotito. He has a Twitter account and he had gained a lot of relevance, right, just because he claims Kylian Mbappe will play for Real Madrid this year, okay? So, I have seen so many screenshots from his cell phone and apparently the person who is delivering or sending him the information is really, I mean, it makes a lot of sense, right? It makes a lot of sense to me. Um, this guy has been facing off a lot of criticism for uh, from so many traditional journalists and people in general who don't believe in him. But the best asset for him right now is that the traditional journalists are not reliable anymore considering they fail with the information of Kylian Mbappe last summer when every single journalist was claiming that Kylian Mbappe was going to come and he didn't, right? A lot of people decided to jump onto the board of this guy and say, hey, yeah, he's going to come to Real Madrid in 2023 and what he is claiming uh, uh, as far as Kylian Mbappe is there is already an agreement between PSG, Real Madrid and the player. So um, the only condition why Kylian Mbappe wasn't allowed to leave PSG last summer, it was the World Cup, okay? So Qatar decided to force the player to stay, right? And through different pressures, like the president of the French Republic in Qatar and all that, they decided to pay I mean, all the money in the world for the player to stay one more season after the World Cup, I mean, because the most important for them was to keep the guy to celebrate the World Cup and then he could do whatever he wanted to do, right? So this guy uh, who has been in my show for a bunch of times, um, last night he claimed a couple of different things. Number one is last week, Kylian Mbappe, I'm gonna share the screen with y'all guys so you can see him. Okay, so last week, Kylian Mbappe rejected a bonus of 250 million to stay one more season in Qatar. Because the agreement between the mother, Mbappe, and all that is, no, after the World Cup, I will play whatever I want, okay? So that was on Thursday. On Friday, if you remember, and this is true, Kylian Mbappe decided to share with everybody in his social media account a kind of statement regarding how uh, annoyed was by the fact that PSG decided to uh, make a kind of, you know, commercial promoting the, uh, the memberships for the next year. As you know, Kylian Mbappe uh, wrote something in a statement saying, 
I'm not okay with the video, I just want them to take it down because I'm not okay with that. That's why I'm fighting for my uh, individual rights uh, of image or whatever you want to call it, right? I mean, as you know, he did the same in the National Team of Friends. He doesn't like every time his footage or image is used without permission and he did the same with, um, with PSE. The weird thing here is, uh, I mean, if you have any problem with your club, right, and this is something that really uh, made the people feel weird, is you make a call, right, to the president and say, hey, why you guys have done this without my permission, right? No, he decided to go out of public and do it or upload a statement in his social media account, which is kind of weird, right? So that is number one. So uh, number two is this guy, uh, claim yesterday Faisal Amari and Mbappe's mother was yesterday in Madrid for a reason that remains unveiled. In my opinion, is because she's probably negotiating something with Ramadi that is already negotiated. But the thing is, there's always some little details they have to work on, and that's why uh, Faisal Amari might be right now in Madrid. Okay, this is something that he is claiming. Uh, or he claimed yesterday in my show. And the last one, and in my opinion, the most explosive news that he uh, dropped in my show, he was Real Madrid already has hired a company for a big event celebration in the Bernabeu in the late July. I mean, business means that, you know, we need kind of catering, uh, catering uh, business, right, for, you know, events and presentations with sandwiches and drinks and all that stuff. Well, apparently Ramadi has already hired a couple of companies to take care of that big event that is presumably something regarding to the presentation of Kylian Mbappe. Man, I don't know if this guy is true. I've been talking to him, I mean, off the cameras a bunch of times. He has sent me different screenshots with the information that he has and man it makes a ton of sense it, it makes a ton of sense although the 90 percent of the journalists right now are denying the possibility for Kylian Mbappe to come to Ramadi this guy is gaining repercussion is gaining traction is gaining audience just claiming Kylian Mbappe will come for Ramadi man I don't know I don't know what's gonna happen but I decided to give him a voice, right? Because he was not very well known in the space, right? So I decided just because my, my YouTube channel in Spanish is really big, I decided to give him a voice, right? And uh, because you, you cannot trust anybody these days, in, unless if we're talking about soccer, right? Every single thing can happen. Since last summer, man, nobody really knows who can believe to or not believe, right? So I decided to, I mean, it's the same. When I give the voice to Jose Fernandez Dia, Tomas Rosales Martin, I mean, traditional journalists, right? It's okay, but I also want to give some voice to these people, insiders, who apparently are working with very good information. And if the guy is lying to all of us, I mean, the consequence will be for him, not for me. And, uh, or the success, it's gonna be for him, not for me. The credit is gonna be for him, not for me. But in these days, man, I think the best thing you can do is to give him a voice and just wait for it and wait and see what happens, right? Because for all those Madridistas, man, that'd be awesome. If we are able to sign up to kill and Mbappe, that'd be awesome. I told you guys, it's great. That'd be incredibly good when all the odds was against the signing of Kylian Mbappe. If we are able to sign him, man, That'd be great. So let's see. We will have to wait a little bit. Apparently, according to this guy, more stuff is according to this guy in May, something in Radio Monte Carlo will happen in terms of Kylian Mbappe talking to Radio Monte Carlo saying and going out of public and saying, I just want out from PSG. I just want, you know, to try another route or whatever. But this is something we are waiting for. OK, for now, nothing has happened. And what we have to think about is, OK, maybe he does it. Maybe he waits a little bit more. Maybe it's through Radio Monte Carlo or any other radio station or any other media. Might be through social media as well. So, man, this is exciting for me because I've been waiting for the sending of Kylian Mbappe 
for a lot of time, right? And uh, I don't know, I mean, let's see, we have nothing to lose. And of course, what I don't want to see is my team, Real Madrid, not signing everybody because the Real Madrid I have known for my whole life is the, the super ambitious Real Madrid signing the best players in the world with the best spectacle in the world. And although we are in one of the worst uh, domestic leagues, in my opinion, we have to play on, uh, I think that this is going to change if we are able to sign the best players in the world. So let's see what happens. And for you guys, this is all the information that I have for you all today. I hope you like and enjoy and subscribe my channel in either YouTube, Facebook. Guys, just follow me. I will start to doing some events, online events, webinars and all that. So if you guys are okay with that, just register. I'm going to set up everything, right? So for you guys can ask me anything. The good news with me right now is I am talking to the best journalists in Spain regarding to the best information too of Real Madrid. So guys, every time I celebrate an event or so, I'm going to let you know so you guys can stay for say a couple hours with me enjoying and celebrating this stuff. So guys, see you in the next video.